This is Jake from Periphery, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Jake from Periphery. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm awesome. How are you doing? Very well. Feeling good. That's good. We are here in Toronto for a sold-out show at the Opera House, but you were actually in town yesterday, and you got to check out some hockey. Uh, I did not check out hockey. Oh. Some of the other guys <laughs> did, and I'm, I was really jealous because okay. it was... Uh, well, I mean, I don't. I got to be careful what I say because I'm in Hockey Town, and uh, they were very stoked about the outcome of yesterday's game. But I'm sure that the denizens of Toronto were not. So, uh, but anyways, uh, I wish I went, but uh, I decided to hang back. But uh, I did my own thing. What did you end up doing? Stays off are super rare. Uh, yeah, I I, I like kind of doing stuff that I would do at home, on days off. So that way, I kind of get the sense of. You know, it's kind of like an unwinding thing, so I just stayed in my pajamas, ate whatever I wanted, and played video games. Uh, it was it was real simple. Any sense of home you can get on the road. Exactly. Must, you must want to just take it in. It's really important that I do that, because if I don't, then I'm constantly in a new town every day, and I get, I get kind of uh, stressed out, so got to unwind. What's your go-to video game when you're unwinding? Um, well, lately it's been the new Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. If you haven't played it, play it it's incredible um and then if i can get internet i have uh <laughs> i played gta online with my friend elliot who is also the singer of good tiger an amazing band oh, you should check out good. yeah uh so me and him just kind of make fun of each other and and blow each other up and play cops and robbers and like we're just two man children <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing some VIP meet and greets before the shows. I just got to watch one, and the fans are just so into it. It's awesome. It's, it's fun. It's cool to get to know them. I'm sure you meet some interesting characters when you're kind of mingling with the peripherals. Yeah, I mean, it's so funny to know or to find out what people know about you. Because, yeah. like, we're pretty open on social media and stuff. So, you know, we will post all of our, you know, personal moments, whether it's with family or friends or stuff we got going on at home. And, like, I have a dog. And, like, people ask me, like, hey, how's your dog doing? You know, so, like, things like that. And uh, it's just really cool to know that people follow the band that closely, you know, rather than just just focus on the music and the albums and the touring you know they're really interested in us as people so and we find that out more so at the meet and greets well before this tour you were on a southeast asia tour <laughs> oh, yeah. and you were posting some really cool photographs of stuff you were eating so did you try anything interesting over there um yeah i actually ate a uh, like a deep fried fish on a stick okay. and like and like you'd think that you wouldn't be able to eat the head as well because it's a head but i ate the head I was it good? That. Yeah, it was really good. It was okay. like it was basically like um, imagine like a like a, a fish that's fully cooked, but it's like dipped in breadcrumbs and it has like a lemon in it and like spices and it was really good. And I, and I would have never done that except I had hiked ten miles that day, so <laughs> I would have eaten anything. <laughs> Most yeah. things deep fried are pretty good. So. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Apparently, there was a tour in the past where, for almost every show, fans brought you cupcakes. Oh yeah. I can't tell if you guys were just yeah. joking about when that was said, or no. Why was that? Well, what happened is we did a um, we did a promo video for the tour that we were doing, and we didn't think that people would actually really take it very seriously. But Misha, our other guitar player, was just eating a cupcake, and I believe he said something like, "You know, bring us cupcakes with like food coming out of his mouth." And uh, every day, somebody brought us a baked good of some kind. It was mostly <laughs> cupcakes, but um, by the end of, like, two or three days, that counter right there would just be stacked wow. um, with just baked stuff. So it was, uh, it was, we just had to start throwing it out because yeah. everybody wanted to bring us stuff. So we were very, very thankful, but it was, uh, it was hard to... We would have died if we ate everything that they gave us. <laughs> would have had to have been a lot of hiking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Someone brought you cookies, too, which was awesome today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Matt just brought in a whole thing of uh, freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. And uh, the promoter of the venue um, brought us uh, cupcakes from this really nice place. I forget the name of it. But, uh, man, I, I got to run. I got to go for a run just talking about this. <laughs> yeah. There's something on your Facebook page that caught my eye, and it says, Periphery proudly uses and is endorsed by dot, dot, dot. So if you could have anybody endorse you, who would that be? Um, well, I guess it would have to be, like, I have all, like, the equipment endorsements that I want. I'm, uh, I'm a, I've been a signature artist. I'm a Demarzio signature artist. I work closely with Fractal Audio. Um, but uh, if, we're, uh, if, I, if it could be anything, it would probably be, like, uh, PlayStation or... Uh, um, Rockstar Games, the guys who make Grand Theft Auto, or like okay. something like that, like just something that like is very, 
unorthodox or like not people don't get you know endorsed by video game companies it's true yeah that'd be a pretty sick one yeah yeah i agree well on the music front for free three select difficulty love how that rhymes <laughs> oh, for a little bit yeah i like it my favorite part about the record is how you can't pin you guys to one genre you like it's kind of all over the place you guys push the boundaries on everything you try to do but going forward is there anything that you wouldn't try on a periphery record is there anything that you're like that's a little too much um i mean we probably wouldn't go down the country route i okay. think that's safe to to say but you never know i mean i think uh uh, what's interesting about all the guys in the band is that they all have very different music tastes. Um, you know, we agree on a lot of things, but everybody has their own thing that they're into. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of known as the guy that likes electronic music, but all the guys like electronic music. But I'm like the guy that, like, you know, finds out about new electronic bands. And uh, Mark is the guy that's like the black metal and the death metal guy. So he, like, knows all those bands. Uh, Misha is like the guy who knows about all the fusion bands okay. and all like the really like sickest musicians uh, that play guitar or drums or whatever. And um, and everybody has their own thing. But uh, but yeah, it's just uh, you will find that those influences start working their way into the music. And that's kind of why it jumps all over the place is because we're so, you know, I don't, I don't really listen to metal that much. I, you know, I, I listen to the stuff, the demos that we do so I can you know, write around it or, or write parts for it or help arrange, but uh, I mostly listen to electronic music. Who are some of the electronic bands that you've been digging? Uh, lately, it's been Calm Trues. I've been listening to a lot of Calm Trues. Uh, I discovered this new group. Uh, they're from Canada. They're called Tennyson. I don't know if you yeah. guys know. Yeah, they're, they're really sick. Um, and uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Telephone, Tel Aviv, um, and uh, Prefuse 73, and uh, um, oh, I'm sure there's a ton of other ones. I, I have a I, I have a Spotify account, and uh, my all the artists I follow are public on there, and I make playlists and stuff. So if you want to like hear the music I'm listening to, and you have Spotify, I'm Jake Periphery on Spotify, and you can see uh, all this stuff. And and what's cool about Spotify is that uh, every Monday there's this playlist that get that gets repopulated with new songs. It's the Discovery Weekly playlist. So if you have a, a premium Spotify account, uh, you can get that Discover Weekly playlist, and it kind of it tracks your listening habits. And so for me, it's been tracking my listening habits, and it's so it always picks the best jams. So I highly recommend it. I love how it's that simple now. It is, yeah. It, I mean, you know, we're being we're we're slowly working our way to the singularity and or Skynet. So we will be destroyed by robots pretty soon. But in the meantime, we'll have some pretty good music to listen to. <laughs> Yeah. Well, apparently you guys are fairly big Rick and Morty fans. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the title, the way the news goes. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. other cartoons that you really like? Um, well, The Simpsons, the first uh, first one through eight seasons are of The Simpsons, I like. I watch every day. Um, and uh, uh, South Park, of course. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the Critic. Um, let's see. It's hard to... Uh, hard to think about animated shows right now you know you know what show that's not animated that's hilarious that i think is one of the best shows i've ever seen Do tell. silicon valley yes yeah silicon valley is one oh, of the it? It funniest like shows pied piper pied piper yes. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's just I, I i i can that show is so good that it you know how they say like time flies when you're having fun yep. i finished all three seasons in two nights wow like, yeah like that because it's just so good and so entertaining to watch uh, um, I know it's not animated. I totally just went off on a tangent there. But, <laughs> it's a good show, though. But, yeah, out. I mean, if it, I, 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 I would, it's safe to say that if you like Rick and Morty, you'd like Silicon Valley because the humor is very intelligent like that. So, yeah, I, I guess the Rick and Morty just put out an April Fool's episode yeah. or something. Or they put out an episode from season three on April Fool's, and I haven't seen it yet. Have you? All I know is it has something to do with McDonald's, I believe. I saw them tweeting it. I follow, yeah, or I I follow them on Twitter, yet. and I saw them tweeting McDonald's, and I tried not to pay attention because I didn't want it to get Spoilers. spoiled. Spoilers spoil it for me but um but yeah it has something to do with McDonald's <laughs> yeah let's well, wrap things up is there anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing just any parting words um well uh come see us on the Sonic Unrest 2 tour and uh see some songs we haven't played live before and uh see some old ones that we brought back and uh come and drink wine with me <laughs> beautiful parting words thank you so much for joining me Thank you. It's my pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.